It wasn't just all about Eve today, as Justin Trudeau said. The other big changes today were within the Conservative cabinet. In the wake of John Baird's sudden resignation last week, the Prime Minister has chosen a new Foreign Affairs Minister, as well as a new Defence Minister. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malewski, has those details. Terry. Well, Evan, the cabinet shuffle did succeed in making sure that the Ottawa news isn't entirely about Eve Adams. But it's really just a mini shuffle. It's not about bringing in new blood or shaking things up. Quite the opposite. We have a strong and growing economy. It is a promotion for three well-established ministers, notably Jason Kenney, who's moving up from employment to defence, taking over from Rob Nicholson, who is moving into the foreign affairs spot vacated last week by John Baird. Pierre Polyèvre, who last year handled the New Elections Act, will take over from Kenny at employment. And for Kenny, a key decision is already looming, whether to extend Canada's mission to Iraq, which expires in two months. It sounds like Kenny's answer is yes. But let there be no doubt, we are committed to continuing the, the fight against uh, this genocidal uh, threat to international security called ISIL. Come on. Kenny will also keep his second job as Minister of Multiculturalism, the government's ambassador to ethnic communities. And as he keeps moving up, there's more talk that Kenny has his eye on the leadership one day. He says, heavens no. Uh, Terry, I don't even think about those long-term future questions. I know you folks in the media... Um, you don't even think about... I, I do not waste my time allowing the, the those kinds of long-term issues, of spe speculative issues, uh, to distract me from my responsibilities. But observers say don't believe it. Yeah, eventually when Harper steps down, you know, you're building your base, you're building your power base for, for the future, not for necessarily for this year, but two years, three years down the road. By contrast, Rob Nicholson is seen as more of a caretaker at foreign affairs, expected to stick to the script and make no waves. But the opposition says he's not qualified. You'd expect that the person who's in charge of your diplomacy could speak a little bit the language of diplomacy, which happens to be Canada's other official language. But he, he literally can't say a word. Overall, though, it's a no-drama shuffle, ensuring that there will still be hawkish ministers at both foreign affairs and defense. Both can be expected to argue for extending the Iraq mission, Evan. All right, thanks for that, Terry, our senior correspondent, Terry Malewski in Ottawa.